on, everyone? You are back at Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward with, of course, Jocelyn Davis. Hey, guys. And we are so incredibly excited because we have Mason Musso, brand new sound for Metro Station. Fans have been waiting a while. They have been waiting We're a long excited. Time. I know, like, so <laughs> stoked. We've already heard some of the music. We're dancing over here, getting intense. Um, tell us a little bit about the new sound for Metro Station. Um, the new sound, it's definitely uh, more mature. Uh, I've grown up a lot since our since our first record, and uh, I've been working a lot with Blake and Anthony, and just kind of, uh, you know, forming a whole new element to the to the Metro Station sound. It's going to be beefed up more, I guess. So what does that mean exactly, beefed up? Like, where is the sound kind of going? Um, it's definitely more electronic. Okay. Uh, I've taken that approach with it, and um, also some crazy beats. So dropping the beat. Dropping beats. Dropping the dropping beats. Lots of beats. Who have you been influenced by? Mm -hmm. um, personally, I mean, as of late, Adele has really influenced wow. me. Um, she's like a breath of fresh air in the music industry. Um, but my personal influences are um, New Order, Depeche Mode, OMD, um, The Cars, you know, old 80s bands like that. Nice. Very yeah. cool. And what do you think fans are going to really love about this new music? Um, I, would, uh, I would say that there's a lot more uh, free emotion in it, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Or it's like fun, but also at the same time it like means there's a lot of like uh, motion in the, in the music, and I think can, uh, fans are going to connect with that the most. So, would you say so. that like a lot of the music that you, you know you were writing and getting it together was it, like from personal experience, or where do you find inspiration for um, the writing at least? A lot of it comes from personal experiences. Uh, I have this new track um, called Barcelona, and that was more of me creating this uh, story in my head. So it kind of goes uh, both ways. Very now, cool. You've been really busy over the last year. Mm -hmm. Fill us in. Where have you been? What have you been doing? Um, I've been in LA a lot. Uh, I usually go to Texas and kind of right there, get away from the city and oh, you know cool. all the hustle and bustle that LA is. And um, doing a lot of that and kind of just moving back and forth from, from Texas and LA. So how soon will it be until fans can see you out on the road playing any shows? Like um, anything I would in the works? The album should be released within like uh, two months, three months, and um, after that it's just going to be tour craziness. So you yeah, love being on the road. Gonna, I do actually. I mean, um, I'm one of those people that love to uh, travel. So very, very wow. cool. Yeah. What would? Sorry, go ahead. The next single that fans can look out for. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about it. Uh, the next single is called "Every Time I Touch You," and it's a track uh, I worked with um, Blake Healy on. And it's just big and in your face, and I can't wait for all the kids to hear it. Would you say that's your favorite song, or do you have another that really speaks to you or that you just love listening to over and over again? Um, the song I Still Love You, which I played for you guys acoustically, that would be my personal uh, favorite song, but also it changes every day. What is it so. about that one in particular? That um, love? Uh, love and loss, I guess. <laughs> you know, you uh, like you can't. It's not gonna work, you know, you can't stand someone, but you really love them, and, and I kind of wrote it based off those feelings. Awesome so. thing about being a songwriter, you can do that, you can channel your breakup. It's, thera it's therapeutic, exactly. honestly. I'm my own therapist, really. Very cool. So. <laughs> Sweet, save some money out there. Yeah, That's I guess great. so, right? <laughs> well, we're definitely gonna have the link below to that acoustic performance. Awesome. So exciting, so exciting. Thanks for coming by. Thank yeah. you for having it's me. Great to meet you, and we're big fans. Thank you very much. We have much. our Metro Station shirts, actually. <laughs> I know, we really do have Metro Station shirts. You guys should have worn them, that would have been awesome. So excited for this brand new sound. Thanks for stopping by, Mason. Thank you very much. And thanks to you guys for checking out Clever TV. Remember, we have the acoustic performance. The link is below in the info section and all of the details about Mason Musso. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.